Hey, it's two hour track Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I've been changing things around. Um, obviously, you'll notice I have a little bit of an overlay to hide basically my start menu in the top. There's nothing really sensitive there, but at the same time, it's like, why show it? And I can put some links down in the bottom and, you know, try to market myself a little bit better. Um, it also gives me a little bit of space to uh, mess around with um, stuff down here, like my links, and I can put this out of the way. So the webcam is less um, obscured by random crap. So that's a good start. I also have been working on um, adding like an event feed. So I can go like that and right down here, it'll be like, yay, somebody followed me. And that way I'm actually able to um, respond to people right away because last Wednesday I had a donation and that was very, very cool. I had I was definitely not expecting that, but I had no way of um, getting a notification. So I didn't wasn't able to um, properly thank the person and that made me pretty sad so um, if uh, if you're watching this if you donated thank you very much um, I really appreciate it um, so <clears throat> so yeah I've been working on updating the layout I, I definitely want to continue doing this um, I want to get some audio cues I I've been meaning to write some basic audio cues, um, but I have been distracted by playing games because I am a slacker sometimes. Um, what is going on here? Okay, I uh, I'm just watching the watching the feed over here, making sure I don't miss the theme, which. I, uh, I mentioned when I joined the chat for the two hour track Sunday, either the theme is going to be super obvious this week or it's going to be really, really weird and obscure. So those are kind of our, our options here. Um, additionally, I um, had a discussion with Max on Wednesday afterwards where I proved to everybody my... Um, incompetence when it comes to intermediate to advanced music theory um, it was fun I, I learned I learned a little bit of stuff I mean a lot of this stuff was is pretty common and 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 things but he gave me uh, some homework which is on two hour track Sunday um, I have to write the song in a flat mixolydian which um, is essentially I'm starting on a flat let me get a piano here actually let me just Yep, uh, I might as well save this. Just start something new because I'm going to be starting something new anyways pretty soon. Um, so A flat mixolydian is essentially all the black keys. I'm a little out of it today. Didn't sleep super well last night, or at least didn't get to sleep at a normal time. But, you know, that's how it goes. So... Good enough. So when it comes to this, I'm going to open a piano roll. So, so it's basically the major scale, except the seventh is flattened. So, and I'm not entirely what I can do with sure what I can do with that because, like I had have mentioned in the past, I'm not not super great with the major scale as it is. Whoop. So that's uh that's going to definitely be a challenge. Um is the volume up? Yeah, so the volume's okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I um, I hope everybody's having a good Valentine's Day, or if you um, 
are watching this recording, I hope you had a good Valentine's Day. I'm not expecting a whole lot of people to show up for this one just because, you know, it's, uh, oh, Skype disappeared. I was going to send people a message. Um, I really hate Skype. I also really hate Adobe Creative Cloud because um, I had a bunch of windows open and, and Creative Cloud decided to uh, update and then everything disappeared. Like it, it, uh, it hard closed Chrome and a bunch of other stuff. And, uh, that was super cool because I was setting up this stream. So. Oh, Hey Amy, how you doing? Looks like, uh, you might be one of the only people that show up today just because, uh, everybody's busy. High encoding CPU usage. Um, yeah. So I got a lot of stuff running at the same time right here. I can probably no. Photoshop must have closed itself. Um, I can't close OBS. <laughs> Everybody getting it all. Um, maybe I don't know. They all have actual social lives that they can devote their time to. So I can get rid of this page. I can get rid of this page. And thank you, Amy, for showing up. It really means a lot. <clears throat> so just kind of sitting around waiting for the stream or for the challenge to get presented. I guess I should be uh, doing something. Amy, I have been working on your your Cupcake Ninja song. However, I haven't gotten super far on it, so I should get used to uh, Wow. That is really impressive, Amy. I'm kind of flattered, actually. Um, I was only able to download uh, half of XCOM 2 because it, it is apparently like a 27 gig download. Holy crap. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to have the self-control to um, wait to play XCOM because I had just started playing Borderlands 2 and I really wanted to go through that whole game and all of the... Um, all of the expansions because I heard some of the expansions were really good. Um, however, XCOM is supposed to be really good too. So I don't know. I'm uh, trying to figure it out as I go right now. Okay, so I don't know if you were here when I uh, when I mentioned it initially, but my uh, my goal or my challenge for this. One of the one of the challenges that was given to me is I have to play this in um, A flat uh, Mixolydian, which is a little bit of a modification of the major scale. So I know that doesn't mean a whole lot to you, but I wanted to wanted to talk about it anyway. And seriously, if you ever wanted to do another music theory lesson, let me know because it was a lot of fun, just kind of talking about things. So basically, this one uses all the black keys except for the C and the F. So, and normal A major would be. So, yeah, no worries, Amy. I uh, I'll be right here for the next two hours. New messages. Everybody sends me messages. web design people go into my wife's store everybody wants to talk to me oh i think
flower. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, well, this is fairly perfect, actually, um, because, there we go, got the timer going, um, the life of a flower fits pretty well. I actually kind of like that right there. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to try to raise this microphone, so I apologize for any shika shakas. I, uh, I put a little windscreen on here, so you hopefully don't have to listen to me breathe. I really liked um, using the other microphone. However, it also um, picked up everything. At one point, um, my neighbor's busted ass car drove in or something and it just sounded like a jet engine starting um the next room over it's just like and it's ugh I might just um, start with that, honestly. That's pretty damn cool. Um, this might be one of those songs that don't have a tempo, though. Which makes um, adding more layers difficult. Um, but I can uh, figure that out when I get to it. And I can always... Uh, the theme is a life, the, the life of a flower, which is um, really interesting. And I, I kind of like, I kind of like the idea. And um, I have the piano loaded up already, and I'm already kind of sold on the idea of, of working with that. Um, and there's a couple ideas that I want that that I'm kind of thinking of right off the bat. Where first first off, it's like the life of a flower is you know a couple stages, you know the seeding and the growing and then the blooming and then the dying. And I mean you could definitely do those in four stages and like four different um, different melodic themes. Especially if I stick primarily with piano, I think that that's entirely possible to do. And um, I kind of like the idea of sticking with piano for this. Um, so, I mean, it's it's not going to be some big EDM track like some of the other weeks, but I I I kind of like the idea that sometimes it's just not like that. Where the hell am I going in here? Valhalla, room. Let's get some uh, nice reverb on here. Okay. If I breathe through my nose, it actually doesn't go on the microphone now, which is a nice improvement. Um, so. Yeah, um, so I kind of like the idea of of creating maybe three um, different kind of piano themes.
Okay, so I'm also trying to figure out the scale while I'm doing this, so um, it's not, I don't think it really needs to be complex either, and adding adding more stuff, like more layers, shouldn't be too hard. So the first thing I want to do is, as always, I want to add some field recordings. And rather than going with what I usually do, which is like wind and rain and stuff, or rain and um, I guess mostly just rain and ocean sounds, I, I think I have field with birds. I think this is what I'm looking for. Maybe this is super quiet and doesn't, yeah, it's like. And this part has some wind noise in it, so I'm going to just... what it, The wind noise that I... Oh, jeez. The wind noise that I want is like the... Shh, through the trees and all that stuff. And I don't know if I got a good recording of that anywhere. Um, just because it's so hard to get a recording of uh, wind in the trees without getting a bunch of wind noise in your um, microphone. Wind. Wind. Let's see if this works. Yeah. I actually remember recording that. That was a really scary night. Um, I thought my the tree was just going to drop all its branches on my house. It's weird how wind sounds like water, like a waterfall. Um, I'm actually just gonna stick with the the birds. I think that'll be that'll be good. Um, I'm gonna add a bit of compression and just bring the volume up, which will allow me to bring it down. But it'll be a more even sound, and that's really what I'm looking for. Um, as for the theme. Okay, so. Hey, Ollie, how you doing? I'm uh, I'm trying to write, uh, figure out just general like chord progression slash melody, um, because Ollie, the theme is the life of a flower, and I wanted to do kind of like oh hey Geo seven. Seven four seven zero. Sorry, um, the life of a flower. So I kind of wanted to do three different little piano pieces that kind of link together. So I'm trying to figure out a very simple melody, and um, I'll just open up my piano roll so you guys can see what I'm actually playing. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good, buddy. I'm also pretty sleepy, but um, it's it's been a good day so far. I've been kind of uh, killing time and hanging out more than anything else. Okay, so you can see the notes that I'm playing now if you wanted to watch. Um, the challenge that was given to me by a friend was I have to play this in A-flat Mixolydian, which is um, basically a major scale except the seventh is flat. So so it's basically all the black notes. Um, so... next year <laughs> yeah Ali I'm I I haven't rewatched that music theory le lesson with Max yet because I felt like a total idiot through most of it um, I do want to go back and, and watch it though because I feel like actually listening to the audio because I had no audio on my side. 
which was uh, really problematic. And I noticed right now looking at the stream that you actually can't see most of the piano roll because my fat head is in the way. Um, so I'll just record some stuff. And I'm not paying attention attention to tempo right now. Okay. Okay, um, the one really thing that I didn't like is that note should have gone up. Um, the, the volume levels were just kind of low in general, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to boost all of this up. Just a little bit. Oh, that flattens it. Okay, um, because I don't want to squish everything. I just want to bring all the quiet notes up a little bit without completely dementing everything. So I messed up a little bit at the beginning, so I'll crop that out. So I'm thinking like, the song will go in three parts. Um, initially I said four, but I think three is probably gonna be good. Um, like growing, blooming, and then dying. I, I think that that's, that's fair. I don't know why the pedal isn't working now. Oh, right, because I'm not starting there. There we go. <laughs> hey, Ali. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this note actually needs to be accentuated a little bit more because I played it really quietly. And this chord sounds a little wrong, but I don't know if I don't I don't know if I uh, mind that. It's also really loud. These three notes I hammered way too hard. Okay, well, I mean, this could be, if I, uh, if I went the cheap route, this could be like a hour long stream, but you know, that's no fun. Cause I mean, this could just be the growing now it's grown. Um, but I like that. That's pretty. Um, <clears throat> so what can we do now? Oop.
Microphone. I need to get a better stand. And this thing just flops. Stay. No worry, Ollie. Thank you so much for um, swinging by. I really, uh, I really appreciate that. And yeah, um, I would love to hear your VGM Academy track. Um, I saw that you posted something, but I uh, was just busy at the time and I wasn't able to to look at it. But it's cool that you're doing the you're doing the challenge too. Um. So. The weird thing about this scale, this Mixolydian scale, is the five is a minor chord. So And I think that that will actually play really well into the the third part of this, the death part. I am a I'm a little lost for ideas here. I like I like the I, I like the general thought though. Um, I'm wondering if adding just a really subtle layer of something else might uh, might be pretty cool with this. So where am I going? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Valhalla room and I'm going to turn it into uh whoop, I'm going to turn it into a return channel so I can just dump everything into there. And now this needs to be at 100%. <laughs> So, that's really loud. But that's really quiet. I, I I like the sound of this string database sometimes, but right now it's not doing it for me. So string ensemble. It's here somewhere. There it is. Ah crap. Um because with the string ensemble I'm allowed to change the release time. Open there. Yeah. And this is going down to the Yeah, that's not right. 
kind of the problem with working in a scale that I'm not super familiar with. I don't really know what the right notes are. I think this is the... One of the... The problem children. Okay, I'm going to change this. I don't need this open. I, I do want to hold these notes, but I don't want them to hold forever. I do want space in between. Oh, what is going on there? Um, I want space in between these chords. I also notice that I'm getting more and more complex, and I want to keep it to like three or four notes per chord. So I'm probably going to chop some of these down. Um, so... So in this case, this is these are an octave, so I'm just going to cut down the middle one, and it shouldn't reduce much of the overall tone of the chord. Excuse me. Um... I think that that's a pretty good addition. Um, so another thing I'm thinking of is adding just a little bit more of a lead in here with the piano because it kind of comes in hot right away. So even something simple like that to introduce the melody. That'll help. So, that's pretty good so far. You know, every time I start one of these challenges, I am actually pretty stressed out about whether or not I'll be able to finish it. And um, so far, I have honestly been pretty surprised with myself. Um, just because it feels like insurmountable every time. Yeah, that comes in really hot now. Another thing, oh my god, pedals. The other thing that I want to do with this is um, with these strings, I want to bring them in a little bit more delicately so I can actually, the other thing I like about this string ensemble rather than the session strings is I can automate some of the dials so I can have this come in a little more gracefully. That's so much better.
pedal. Man, that's annoying. Oh yeah, well, that's... So, what I'm thinking now is, I mean, this could essentially be the first section where it is, the flower is um, growing and just generally being a little seed. Um, and I'm thinking for the second bit, I can go to my old mainstay, the field recording of uh, rain. But again, I want this to be more delicate rain. I don't want it to be like a rainstorm. So um, I need to find the right clip for that, which I think I have. Uh, it's called like indoor rain or something. There's the scary elevator. <laughs> that won't work here, but I love that. That elevator sounds like you're going to die when you go in it. And I've only been in it like twice. And then I was like, I'll just take the stairs. It's only three, four flights. Um, yeah, I think this will work. So this is a rain recording, or a field recording of an umbrella. And I haven't really had a chance to use this this much, but I really, really love okay. how it came out. Oh yeah, that's me talking. Let's just skip past that. Hmm. Well, now I'm thinking. I, I'm all over the place. That's fine. Um, I'm thinking that like this first part is being planted, and then the second part could be growing, and then the third part could be blooming. And we don't have to do the death part because this is a happy song, you know? Or if I have, you know, time. That way I can like devote a half hour to each to each section and that, that might be pretty cool. So we'll have We'll have the the like the pretty stuff be um for being planted and just like getting stuck in the ground. And then um we can work on the second part here, which is growing in the rain. Whoop. That should be a shelf, yeah. Because right here, I kind of want a bit of the high end, a bit of the low end, but not a whole bunch of each. That's what does that sound like? Nope. Okay, so so when it comes to growing, I'm kind of thinking so. So kind of that arpeggiation upward and then downward again. Um, when it comes to this, though, I do want to cut back on the reverb that's being sent over. Let's see. I want a little bit more than that, but. Well, now I'm just doing somewhere over the rainbow, aren't I? <laughs> um, 
I think. Oh. Man, what the hell is that? It's like some plastic shards on the ground. Um, I think that that idea has merit, though, and I'm gonna try to do that. Oh, I need water. I'll be right back. Okay, I guess I should have been playing the actual song while I did that. That's something I need to get used to. So, so I think that's okay, but that's like totally <laughs> somewhere over the rainbow. So I'm not going to do that, even though it sounds pretty. Okay, so I have So I'm thinking that um, this is like something that repeats two or three times, maybe two times, because I like the idea of the chord ending. And then it like does the whole. Oh, that's super cheesy. That's not bad, because I want that, the sustain and the release. Yeah, that might work. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to be able to play this live, though. I guess that's one thing. So, um, that's pretty cool. Obviously, there's some mistakes in there that I need to fix. 
Um, but it's a start. I just kind of want to see how it... So there's some things I like about that and things I don't. But I think it's a, it's a good enough framework for me to be able to just edit what's there. Um, as for the strings, I don't want to just leave it at the piano the first time around and see if I can go do, do anything. Nope. There's a big gap there. were some issues with that. <laughs> um, yeah, there's some pretty serious issues with that. Might just have to re-record that second part. I think I should fix up the piano first before getting too hog wild into the rest of this. So I'm going to zoom in. One, two, there we go. I'm just speeding up this section a little bit. There's some pauses. There's some pauses that I didn't really intend to do. And some wrong notes. <laughs> okay, so there is a leading note there which I definitely want to keep. I just want to bring it in a little bit more. Okay, so Gotta come in here and fix a couple things. Whoa. Settle down there. There we go. There's that, and there's that. That's definitely two of the major ones. Yeah. The strings are not doing for, doing it for me right now. I just might have to just record all those. Yep. And honestly, just having that the way it is, that's nice. That's nice and simple. Okay, so what I did with this uh, second part up here is I, I raised everything by an octave, or I raised the like the main melody bits by an octave, which allowed me to basically just play the same thing and have it sound a little bit different. Yeah, except I played the wrong notes there, so disregard that. Copyright Walt Disney, two thousand sixteen.
and I like the the tension and resolve, but I'm just messing it up. I could try re-recording that, and I might. just get rid of all those extra notes um, yeah I'm just gonna re-record the strings if I use them at all so this is the second section Yay, the flower's all grown up now. Um, whoa, okay. Let's just do that then. That's cool. Um, as far as this recording goes, it sounds like record crackles rather than actual rain. So I'm going to increase some of the lower frequencies and uh, see how that goes. Also, I need to do a little quick thing on Facebook. Um, I have been sending my wife super, super cheesy Valentine cards images. And I need to send her one. Because that's the stupid stuff I do on Valentine's. There. Back to work. See, this is the this is the shit that gets me super um, distracted while I do this stuff. Um, but you know, it has to be done. Cool. So, as far as the strings are concerned. Okay. Wait, right, that's not right though. Because it's not that, it's that. So that's where the diminished chord is in this, because each scale tends to have a diminished chord. And apparently, it's the three. Which makes things a little more complicated. I've probably been playing it wrong this whole time. Who knows? We'll just hit record and see what happens. In this first part, I want the beat just piano again, just to kind of stick with the what it was before.
Oops. Cool. That worked out pretty good. Um, this was a wrong note. And um, this was a little bit of a mess over here. This needs to get extended out. And then I'm thinking, I didn't really use the theme in the second part, did I? I'm good at this. That's true. That's a good point, Amy. This note right here feels like it needs something to go with it. Yeah, because I can't really bring the melody. I can't really bring the melody into this. And I can't really bring it in here. Whoop, here. So, what I'm thinking is we can find one more good field recording just to kind of get the mood. I don't really have like a, a recording of sunlight um, because, you know, obviously, but I'm wondering if... Um, I'm wondering if I can find something that would kind of emulate that. I'm not really sure though. Cornfield. <laughs> I think I was hiding in like a corn maze. Yeah. I could go back to the Field with Birds one too, which I think is probably a, a pretty a pretty acceptable acceptable way to go. Um
Okay. Um, that's pretty good. Oh boy. So I'm thinking, I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm kind of just doing random stuff right now. Um, but I like the idea of having some kind of arpeggiation, which is this, the um, moving the moving the notes up and down quickly. Ugh, headphones. You get headphones with like little fans in the in the thing, so I don't get all uncomfortable. Hmm. No. Hmm. That might work. I wish it wasn't so cold out too. Sometimes I feel like uh, the temperature in this house. And I could crank up the heat, but it doesn't really help this room because this is the room that has like all the windows in it. And I could get a personal space heater, but then you just hear this of the fan going all the time, so that doesn't work either. I could put on another hoodie. That might do it. Um, so I'm I'm I kind of like the idea of uh just going with this. Because this is like the blooming phase, which um, really is kind of slow. But if you look at the time lapse stuff, it's like I, I love watching those time lapse things because it's just like it's just like this explosion, you know. Um, it's something that you don't really notice that happens, but it happens like every day with some of these flowers. And that's pretty cool. Um, And then with the strings, I can move it from this uh, the the sustain to more of a, um, a staccato, like da, 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 da. yeah. So um, that would definitely give it a little bit more movement too. Excuse me. However, that would mean that I actually have to play in a tempo, which is slightly terrifying. Um, so what I'm what I'm thinking is only faster. Um, so I'd be going from one. Oop, yeah.
to seven to one to seven to four to five to I guess I could do two but that would require a, a piano with more notes on it I, I could use that guy but Okay, um, sure, why not? Nice start. Yeah, I was not really doing that correctly. was a lot of wrong notes um and that last chord ugh, man try that again and now it's like I've, i'm hearing it too much and i'm like oh is this actually really any good it's like yeah it's i liked it the first time i'm, I'm sure it'll still be good later wait what notes am i playing oh jeez. First of all, get rid of that. And it's like I have plenty of time, so it's like I'm not hurting. Yeah. Dramatic pause. That's really what that was right there, you know. getting there so in addition to this bit right here this needs to have another note down here but my piano doesn't go that low oops lovely oh my god stop it um Okay, so this is actually just bringing it back to the front. So it would be going like that. Ah, 
I don't know how I feel about this. I also feel like I should be moving this up to that. there a little buddy um, and this needs to get pushed forward a little bit Okay, so I'm not a big fan of just looping it. Um... So, just kind of uh, ah. building on that other part and just changing the arpeggio from just the basic to... Or something like that. Which is getting a little bit almost too complicated for my uh my piano skills but you know i'm not gonna stop anywhere okay thanks ableton okay so okay That helps. Oh my god. Okay, I actually need to figure out the correct notes because right now I'm just banging keys on the scale, which doesn't help. So. that note
I'm getting a little over my depth here, I feel. Um, and that's okay. Like, whatever. Okay, so maybe I can... I like that better, actually, because we're going from this fairly powerful chord which, if I remember correctly, yeah, so. I wish I could uh, show the piano roll um, because, I mean, the other thing I could do is I could like move the camera. I can't tilt it far enough down to actually show the piano, which sucks. Um, like getting another camera would be nice, but then it would be another camera. Um, and this already has enough uh, stuff going on right now, at least for my, uh, skill level when it comes to streaming but it would be cool to have another camera down at like piano level so if we go from here oh yeah and i am wearing pants this time which is a good uh good thing i yeah Um, <clears throat> if I bring that down, okay, come on. Oh my god. So right now... I can move to this. Too many low notes are, are getting in each other's way down there.
Um, I kind of want to keep this up an octave now. Which causes problems because I'm not able to play all the damn notes. Actually, maybe I am. So basically, I'm just going up. I'm just going up the scale, and I think that that might work pretty well. And then I can work on um, adding some string bits. I don't know. Oh, come on. Damn it. So, I'm starting. Ugh. I've been playing too many octaves. Uh, my left hand is actually sore from like going like this for too long. And I got a text message, which was a little distracting. <laughs> That was probably loud, sorry. Um, I'm at a little bit of a loss what to do. And I've been saying that a lot this one. I don't know. It's like starting to it's starting to get away from me a little bit. And I mean, part of that is is good because it's being it's working as a learning experience for me, but But yeah, it's like I generally don't work in these kind of arpeggiated. And there's all these mistakes to fix.
This song is also kind of getting a little bit longer than it should for a two hour track Sunday. <laughs> um, it's what? It's already like three minutes long. But there's variety in it, so that's not bad. It's just like there's generally a limit on how long you should make your songs. So I got time to listen to the whole thing. fan of that rain sound anymore. not a big fan of that actually so two things I want to fix first of all I need to do it choose a better rain sound which is fine yeah even that's better um, just something with a little bit more life to it because right now all I could hear was just the little pops Choose something from the middle a little bit better. And I do like how explosive that intro is, like how it comes in really strong. So, 
I'm going to try to condense this because I, I like the idea of it, but I don't like the execution of it. So what I'm thinking about doing... is like condensing these down a little bit into um sorry i'm like trying to think and do this at the same time and it's not my brain is not does not work like that um So it's basically just taking the, the basic chord progression of what I did and uh, moving it so it's the bass notes are moving up much faster, at least for those. And um, then this stuff is fine. I'm also, I'm going to have to change all the pedals because they're all messed up now. Yeah. So, I just felt like that part was dragging on. And, um, both for the, the challenge and just in general... I don't want to make this song super long. So I, I felt the need to condense it down a little bit. So so there's this and then this. And this is just me manually editing the pedal positions. So. So it's fine, but the notes aren't synchronized, so that's a slight problem. These need to be louder. up super well is it I'm slouching no slouching this happens just a little too fast So, I'm thinking I can just reprise this first part. But... I don't know if it should like be try to be sadder because because reasons. I don't really know. 
I don't know a lot with this one. Oh yeah, I was also going to try to add some string stuff, wasn't I? Um, so yeah. Let's see. Staccato. So this is just adding the MIDI trigger to change it to staccato compared to here, which it should be sustain. Same with here. And adding these will just mean that I don't have to mess around with it later. So when I get to this part, it's very quiet. But it's there. So what I can do is I can actually raise this level up a little bit more. It's a little too much. But you get the point. So, yeah, that was a little bit of a train wreck, but it kind of worked too. Um, I, I say it's a train wreck just because It's not like set to any beat. So I think there's a couple extra string notes that shouldn't be there. No, nope, maybe it's just this one. And I mean, I can get super zoomed in here and manually Oh, thank you, Windows, for that lovely sound. Actually, it turned out pretty good. It was just that one little flub. Oh, yeah, one little flub and then all that. <laughs> and the automation is like right where I need to okay so I got a little slow here and I s picked it up right there so if I shove these over just a little bit, that should fix most of it. And then these are too fast, so I cut those out. This is the exciting part about music production, guys. You don't even know. I'm excited. This part turned out super well. Um, I kind of flubbed it up there, so I, I'm just going to do a fade out and then bring in the suspend strings again, because I feel like it's appropriate.
that was easy. Um, yeah. How was that able to play with the level at a hundred negative a hundred decibels? So really for the constraints of the challenge, I should probably stop it here. However, I feel like there needs to be one more section. Oh, excuse me. So I might just make one more section because fuck police. I can't even say it right, man. Um, so Take a little bit of a break from my shoulder because see if anybody said anything about all the dumb pictures I posted on Christine's timeline all day. <laughs> nope. I'm okay with that too. Um, excuse me. That was inappropriate. Um, Okay. So, I'm ending like... Oops. I'm ending like... Here. I could maybe do this augmented sixth that um, Max talked about. Because right now I'm going from the one to the four, which would be The sixth on the bottom, which would be six, then first and second, and then raised fourth. I don't think that's right. minor fifth hmm so I don't think I'll ever be able to play that live, at least without more than 24 minutes of practice. Um, so. That doesn't really need to be on the screen. Um, I'll give that a try. And this is just going to be really short, I think. Um,
Cool. Um, it adds like another minute onto it, but don't care. It's also really quiet. I'm going to try to bring up the volume just a little bit without making a huge mess. Too loud. Too long of a pause. And, you know, for the thematic whatever purposes. And I'm wondering if there should be some kind of field recording at the end here, but I don't think so. Unless... Nope. Why is that the same file? Good job. Okay. Okay. Good job, Ben. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't need it. Go. I don't want anything. Here we go. Um, I think that works pretty well. I think somebody just got home just a second. Oh, hi. Here you are. I couldn't remember if I locked the door or not. Oh. I just thought you were doing your makeup thing, so I don't want to bug you. have to do a couple small things. I'm gonna do your stuff. Yep. Um so like and probably guess things. what? I just gave you the free ticket to Santa. Why? Because I'm helping her I'm helping organize it. Well that and you did bring her here. I mean there's yeah. that. So. But I didn't know I was getting a free ticket. Well that's good. So thanks for sending the money. You can go to the Sizzler. There you go. Let's go to the Sizzler. Yeah. <laughs> hey Elvik. Um, thank you. Sorry about that. Wife just got home. I, um, I do love improvising, but it causes problems when I am, uh, trying to write something deliberately, and, um, I have a bad time remembering, like, all the notes. And, of course, when I walk away from the computer, I should remember to actually just play the damn song so you're not listening to nothing. Um, but... Honestly, I think this is pretty much done. I'm going to do my simple mastering like I always do. And we'll give it a playthrough. 
Um, so with this song, we don't really care as much about the bass as much as, much as the treble. So I'm going to make sure the treble is pretty boosted, but not like obnoxiously. And definitely the mids. I don't, I don't really want to like brick wall compress this or anything, but I just want things to be pretty even. And I don't know about the threshold. Okay, so I'm going to leave it a listen through just all the way, and um, if I find something that I don't like, I'm just going to stop and fix it. I've got like 15 minutes left, so this is pretty good. So with these field recordings, I'm going to put an EQ on here because this some low-end rumble that I'm not a fan of. That's a little loud now. So this is, I got a phone call. It's probably from a blood donation, trying to get more of my blood. It's the problem with donating blood, you do it once and then they ask you forever. But you know, I don't want to complain about it, but it's a little annoying, so. If they need me, they'll leave a message. Stay away from my blood. Um, so yeah, now that all the stuff is boosted up here, um, that intro is a little obnoxiously loud. So I'm going to fix that. But first I'm going through all these notes and I'm lining them up a little bit better. Most of them are okay, but especially near the beginning when I was kind of not, and honestly, just leave that one empty. Um, I leave mistakes intentionally in my orchestral stuff um, because when I was in band, mistakes happened, you know? That seems weird. Uh, 
That's that's this is a mistake with the piano part, honestly. Yeah, things got out of sync here. Okay, moving on over. It's kind of like moving on up, but not really. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this piano and I'm going to dull down these first couple notes. Just chill out a little bit. Same thing with the, these first couple notes. Because I went a little hog wild. So there's some... Ah. Okay, so I was right. Just one of these is just a little too far off. And this one, he's got a little off too. That's kind of a boring way to fix this. But yeah, these are all off. You can kind of see like where I'm like, oh, these are off. And then suddenly I write myself right here. Like this one's pretty on point. one down. Um, these levels, I kind of want to bring them in a little bit more gently than that. Ben. Cool. This is pretty much done. Well, seeing as I have the time to spare, I'm going to listen through it one more time. Um, but honestly, I like it. Ugh. So, yeah, I'll listen to it one more time. Any commentary that I have along the way, I'll just blah, blah, blah. <laughs> something else later because it is pretty
feel like the strings get a little loud near the end because there's so many going on. So I'm going to just kind of bring them down. So I'm going to do that again. Sounds good. Cool. I don't know if I should have my social media thing there or somewhere else. I don't want it to be intrusive, but I also want people to know that it exists, you know? It's a work in progress, but this song is not, because it's done. I like it. So. Yeah, that is uh, today's stream. I, uh, I might hop on later tonight or tomorrow. I have tomorrow off because it is President's Day over in the States. And, um... I have some chiptune commissions to work on, and I also have a commission for Amy, who has been in the chat this whole time, working on her Cupcake Ninja game, if that is the working title, I don't really know. <laughs> um, so I am hoping to fill tomorrow up with a little bit more music. I, uh, I've been playing Borderlands a lot lately, which is fun, but it is also not productive. Um, I tried streaming it the other day and nobody really showed up and it made my computer kind of choppy and weird so I don't know if I'm going to stream it or not. Um, but I can if you guys want. But um, that's pretty much that's pretty much the whole stream for today. Finished early. Feels good. Um, this was a fun one. It was definitely challenging technically and um, it helped me get back into playing piano a little bit more too. So. I, uh, I had a good time with this one. I appreciate you guys sticking around and uh, stream everything. Yeah, and um, I just got XCOM 2 because of peer pressure. And uh, I could stream that, but that would just be a train wreck. Just constantly, just slow motion train wreck. I would just lose all my, all my units every time, every mission, every turn. Um, so... Yeah, I, I might stream some Borderlands. I might uh, I might dip my toes into XCOM. I'm not entirely sure. But um, for the time being, hey, Kendo, how you doing? You missed it? Yep. 
<laughs> did you just show up or have you been around for a while? Um, well, um, Kendo, the recording will be available on um, both Twitch uh, temporarily and YouTube permanently. So you're welcome to listen to the whole stream. I might as well have this playing in the background. I do. I really do appreciate it, Kendo, and it is the thought that counts. Um, as you're well aware with uh, Tim's stream, it's like getting people to show up and hang out uh, is really monumental. And it, it means the world to me that I actually have a handful of people that I could consider regulars. And that means a lot, and I don't want to ever discount that. Um, because really, it just takes time to keep getting people to your stream and watching and supporting and um, I'm not going to stop although next Wednesday's uh, stream the theme is going to be very very difficult for me so um, it might be the first one where I crash and burn it'll happen and uh, that's just part of creativity so I'm, I'm looking forward to it but I'm also really dreading it <laughs> so uh yeah anyway i'm done talking i'm gonna um end the stream yeah i know right i was i was talking and it's like oh wow this fits really well <laughs> um so i i am gonna end the stream so i can um upload this and get it set up and then whoa excuse me sorry about that hell if um people want to Come back in like a half hour or something. I might play a little bit of Borderlands. We have uh, a guest over for a little bit, but uh, sh my wife and friends have a uh, craft night every Sunday, so they're probably going to be in the basement, and then I won't have much to do until about 7:30 when I start making dinner. So I might play Borderlands, shoot some nubs. So you guys have a good one. I am uh, I'm out for now, but I might be back later. Thank you so much for sticking around. Um, my social media has been popping up on the bottom, but it's been underscore Burns, B-U-R-N-E-S, and that's for Twitter and Twitch. And um, for YouTube, it's just plus Ben underscore Burns because it's connected to Google, Google Plus inextricably. So that's all I got. Thank you for watching. And uh, if this is on YouTube, I'd appreciate, you know, a like, comment, all that fun stuff to help with the whole social media stuff. I don't know. Anyway, time's up. You guys have a good one. Take care.